So far, we have done a great deal of review comparison on Obsidian, and it's hard to deny that it's super impressive. However, it can be pretty difficult to get into if you are a new user. On the other hand, Apple Notes offers a clean, straightforward interface and automatic integration across Apple devices, which makes it a great choice for quick note-taking and organization. If you were to choose between either of these, which one would you go for? Let's find out. Let's start with the first thing you notice when you open any app, the interface. Apple Notes has a very familiar, clean design. If you've ever used any Apple app, you'll feel right at home. It's straightforward, and everything feels intuitive. The folders are neatly organized, and it's easy to create a new note with just a tap. On the other hand, Obsidian takes a different approach. Its interface might seem a little overwhelming at first, especially if you're new to it. But don't let that scare you. Once you spend a bit of time exploring it, you'll realize how customizable it is. You can adjust the layout, add plugins, and even tweak the theme to make it look and feel exactly how you want. While it might take a bit of learning, Obsidian is built to grow with you and adapt to your needs. Now, if you value simplicity and just want something you can open and start using right away, Apple Notes has the upper hand here. But if you're someone who loves control and customization, Obsidian will feel like a playground for your creativity. Let's see what features and benefits both platforms offer. When it comes to keeping your notes organized, both apps offer tags and folders. Tags are super handy for quickly categorizing notes. In both apps, you just add a hashtag to the end of a word, and that's it. Whether you're working on a project, tracking ideas, or saving references, tags are a lifesaver. Folders and subfolders are another shared feature. These let you create a clear structure for your notes. Think of it like a filing cabinet where everything has its place. But here's where Apple Notes takes a step further. Smart folders. These are like having an assistant that automatically organizes notes based on specific rules you set. For example, you could create a smart folder that pulls together all notes with a particular tag or keyword. It's quick, convenient, and just works seamlessly. Obsidian has a similar feature called bookmarks. These let you save a search result so you can easily find related notes later. It's not quite as polished as Apple's smart folders, but it does the job well enough. If you're someone who values smooth and automatic organization, Apple Notes might win you over here. Now let's talk about linking your notes together. This is an area where Obsidian absolutely shines. It's designed for backlinks, which means you can connect one note to another with ease. Imagine you're working on a novel. You can link your character profiles, plot points, and world-building notes together, so everything is just a click away. Obsidian even gives you a sidebar to see all the notes connected to the one you're working on. It's like having a map of your thoughts, which makes it easier to spot patterns and explore ideas further. Apple Notes, unfortunately, falls short here. While you can copy and paste links to notes, it's not the same as having real backlinks. If connecting and organizing your ideas is important to you, Obsidian has a clear advantage. Speaking of seeing connections, let's talk about visualization. Obsidian comes with a feature called Graph View. This gives you a bird's eye view of all your notes and how they're linked. Imagine working on a big project, seeing how everything fits together can spark new ideas or help you find gaps in your thinking. Apple Notes doesn't offer anything like this. If you're someone who likes to visually explore your ideas and connections, you're going to miss this feature in Apple Notes. When it comes to sharing, Apple Notes makes it really easy. You can share notes with others and even collaborate in real time. It's great for group projects or just sharing a shopping list with your family. Obsidian isn't as collaboration-friendly out of the box. While you can share individual files, real-time collaboration isn't a built-in feature. This makes Apple Notes the better choice if you often work with others. Let's talk about searching for notes, a feature that can save you hours when you're trying to find that one important detail hidden among a pile of information. Apple Notes makes this process simple. 
You just type into the search bar, and it scans your notes for keywords, tags, or even text within attachments like PDFs or images. For instance, if you jotted down a grocery list last week and forgot where you saved it, a quick search for grocery will pull it up immediately. Obsidian, however, takes searching to an entirely different level. With its advanced query system, you can perform highly specific searches. Say you're working on a research project and need notes tagged with biology, but created in the last month. Obsidian lets you create custom search queries to pull up exactly what you need. This kind of granularity is invaluable for students, researchers, and professionals managing a large volume of notes. While Apple Notes keeps things easy, Obsidian Search is designed for those who need precision and depth. If your workflow involves organizing complex ideas or large collections of notes, Obsidian might be the better fit for you. Markdown is a format that many users love for its simplicity and flexibility. It's especially popular among writers, developers, and anyone who likes to keep their notes structured but lightweight. Obsidian's entire ecosystem revolves around Markdown, which makes it a go-to choice for people who prefer to keep their notes as plain text files. This means you can add headings, lists, links, and even embed images using simple syntax. Let's say you're preparing a report. In Obsidian, you can structure your notes with headings for each section, create bullet points for key ideas, and hyperlink references, all without leaving the keyboard. This streamlined experience makes note-taking both efficient and enjoyable for users who rely on Markdown for formatting. Apple Notes doesn't natively support Markdown. While you can manually format text or use the built-in rich text editor to create lists and headings, it lacks the simplicity and speed of Markdown syntax. For casual users, this might not be a deal breaker, but for those who are already accustomed to Markdown, it could feel limiting. Offline access might seem like a no-brainer for note-taking apps, but the way it's handled can make a big difference depending on your needs. Apple Notes allows you to work offline, but it's tightly integrated with iCloud. This means that while you can edit your notes offline, syncing them across your devices will only happen once you're back online. It's intuitive and works well for users who are always in the Apple ecosystem. Obsidian, on the other hand, operates entirely offline by default. All your notes are stored locally on your device, which means you can access them anytime, anywhere, without worrying about an internet connection. Imagine being on a long flight or out in the countryside and needing access to your notes. Obsidian has you covered. The local-first approach of Obsidian also appeals to privacy-conscious users who prefer to avoid storing sensitive information in the cloud. While Apple Notes does allow offline editing, the reliance on iCloud for syncing might not be ideal for everyone. If you're someone who loves tweaking apps to match your workflow, Obsidian is like a playground. It's built with customization in mind, which offers everything from themes to plugins that extend its functionality. Want a dark theme for late-night brainstorming sessions? Obsidian has a variety of options. Need a plugin to track tasks or integrate with a calendar? The Obsidian community has created an extensive library of plugins for almost every use case you can think of. For example, let's say you're a writer working on a novel. You could install a plugin that organizes your notes into chapters, another that tracks your daily writing progress, and even one that helps you brainstorm character relationships. The possibilities are endless, and they let you tailor Obsidian to fit your exact needs. Apple Notes, in contrast, keeps things simple and uniform. While this consistency is great for users who don't want to fuss with settings, it can feel limiting for those who crave flexibility. If customization is a priority for you, Obsidian is the best fit here. Syncing notes across devices is a must-have feature for modern users, and both apps handle it in their own way. Apple Notes is deeply integrated into the Apple ecosystem, using iCloud to sync notes across your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. The process is automatic and feels almost invisible. Your notes are just there when you need them. However, this automatic experience is limited to Apple devices. If you use a Windows PC or an Android device, accessing your notes can be a challenge. While iCloud does offer a web interface, it's not as smooth as using the app directly. Obsidian offers more flexibility in this regard. By default, it doesn't include a built-in syncing option, but it allows you to use any cloud storage service you prefer, like Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive. This makes it an excellent choice for users who work across different platforms. Additionally, 
Obsidian has its own paid syncing service called Obsidian Sync, which offers end-to-end -end encryption and works across all devices, which ensures your notes are always up to date. If you're fully invested in the Apple ecosystem, Apple Notes might feel like the natural choice. But for cross-platform users, Obsidian's versatility is hard to beat. Let's talk about pricing. Apple Notes is fully free, pre-installed on Apple devices, and syncs seamlessly via iCloud. It's ideal for those already in the Apple ecosystem, which offers instant access on iPhone, iPad, and Mac without any additional cost. Obsidian is also free for personal use, providing all its core features like themes, plugins, and community support. No signup is required, which makes it accessible to anyone. For commercial use, there's an annual fee of $50, including priority support. Add-ons like Sync, $4 per month enable encrypted note syncing across devices, while Publish, $8 per month, lets you share notes online. The one-time Catalyst license, starting at 25 grants beta access and VIP perks. Obsidian works across Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android, with the flexibility to sync notes manually using cloud services. If you're seeking a free, Apple-only solution, choose Apple Notes. For cross-platform stability and optional features, Obsidian is worth considering. So which app should you choose? If you're someone who values simplicity, ease of use, and collaboration, Apple Notes is a fantastic option. It's perfect for day-to-day note-taking, keeping track of tasks, or even just jotting down random thoughts. But if you're someone who loves to explore ideas, connect thoughts, and dive deep into creative projects, Obsidian is a reliable tool that grows with you. It's not as beginner-friendly, but the flexibility and features it offers are hard to beat.